The world community should give a fair assessment to what's happening in Nagorno-Karabakh. The fact that the Armenians open intensive fire at residential and social facilities shouldn't stay unpunished, said Israeli human rights defender Arya Gut. He noted that Azerbaijan should apply to international organizations. Ermenistan, uh, harbi, orduyla, yani, silahlı güvelerle... The main goal of Armenia is to damage civilians. In connection with this, Azerbaijan should apply to all international organizations, for example to the UN. I think that it's important to apply to the Council of Europe and the UN Security Council in order to solve this problem and bring Armenia to peace. Moldovan human rights defender Aurelia Grigoriu says that Azerbaijan, which is suffering from aggression, has the right to liberate its occupied territories by all means. Azerbaijan should insist on creating an international court over the firing at the civilians and residential facilities. The Azerbaijani Prosecutor's General Office has already launched criminal cases in connection with the inhuman actions of the Armenian army committed in Khojali. These atrocities must be presented to the International Criminal Court. The criminals who have committed these war crimes must be brought to justice. In April, the Armenian Armed Forces violated the ceasefire 3,597 times, mainly the residential facilities located near the line of contact came on the intensive fire at the beginning of the month. As a result of this, four people lost their lives, 20 people were wounded. From April 27th to 28th, the Armenian military forces opened fire at the residential objects in Agdam, Tertar and Akjabadi districts, as a result of which two people were killed and eight people were wounded. Renagaeva, CBC.